When we're creating clips in Ableton, or really in pretty much any other digital audio workstation, you're going to need to read the piano roll. Adapted from the way in which old player pianos worked, piano rolls are a vertical representation of a keyboard that shows where every note has been punched in on a grid. The bottom notes are low and the top notes are high, very similar to how we've been working with graphical notation thus far. Here's an empty clip that I've created. If I expand it, you can see that as you go down, the octaves of C go lower from C0 up to C5. And if I scroll with the mouse, it goes even higher up to C8 and C negative two. Pretty extreme range. It also is easier to read the piano roll at times because you'll notice that in addition to the octaves for C, you have representations of white and black keys. Duration, however, is a little trickier. In the piano roll, duration corresponds to the horizontal length of a note, but how do we know what that corresponds to? Well, there is a grid behind the notes. If we right click or control click on a Mac, we can select the resolution for the grid using either the fixed grid settings or the adaptive grid settings. Under fixed grid, we can set the grid resolution anywhere from one thirty-second note to eight bars long. Here's one thirty-second note and eight bars. You'll note that my clip is not eight bars long. It's only one bar, so it doesn't really apply at that point. In fact, if I go down to halves, that's where we can first see a bar line right here at measure one, beat three. With adaptive grid, that works by showing the grid lines based on how zoomed in or out we are. This can be really useful, but some people find it rather difficult. If you're using a MIDI keyboard to input notes, all you have to do is just hold the key for as long as you want the note to be. But if you're like me and you're not the best pianist, make sure you turn on the metronome as well. If you're penciling things in, however, you'll have to pencil the note in and then crop it to make it longer or shorter. But keep in mind that the grid determines the base length of the note you draw, including triplets. If you want to do triplets while entering it manually, you'll have to right click and turn on the triplet grid or use control three on a PC or command three on a Mac. Let's look at this really quickly as I create two clips, one by using the pencil and one by using the MIDI keyboard. In my blank clip, I'm going to select the pencil tool and now draw in notes. I'm currently set to quarter notes, so let's change that to eighth notes in fixed grid by right clicking on it. You can now see more grid lines. And I made a mistake. If I turn off the pencil, I can grab that note and drag it down. If I want to shorten a note, I can select it and shorten by cropping to the left, or I can make it occur later by cropping it to the right. And I can extend other notes out as well. If I want to create a clip manually, I can do that by first making sure that it is record enabled, turn on the metronome, and then I can click the clip record button. Then I can play it in on my keyboard. I can see that all of those notes have been put in roughly where I want them to be on the piano roll. But like I said, I'm not a great pianist. So what I'm going to do is select all of those with Control A on PC or Command A on a Mac. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift U to bring up quantization properties. 
I want these to quantize to the eighth notes. That means that they will snap to the nearest eighth note setting at the start of the note. If I hit that, there we go. Everything is now synced up to the eighth note. That should be pretty good, but let's test it with the metronome on. Awesome. And really, that's all there is to do with the piano roll. If you make a mistake, it's very easy to find it, uh, especially if you listen to it. And then, if I wanted this to be longer, I can just extend it out, or this note. If I wanted maybe to end on a C sharp, I could just raise it up, or raise it down. It's very easy.